Hello friends, this video on soil part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Take care of. The other thing that we are going to discuss is soil pollution. Now the way we have discussed about air pollution where air gets contaminated with undesirable substances. We have talked about water pollution where water gets mixed up with toxic substances. Similarly, we are going to talk about soil pollution. So what is soil pollution? It is the contamination of soil with undesirable substances and chemicals. So when toxic materials get mixed up with the soil, so the soil is, so the presence of these undesirable particles, whether these are chemicals or some toxic substances, they can actually make the soil so toxic or so poisonous that uh, it, it will adversely impact the organisms which are living in the soil, it will adversely impact the plants which are growing on that particular soil. And the unfortunate part is that the main cause behind soil pollution is human activities. So human activities are primarily responsible for soil pollution. There are various reasons like dumping of wastes here and there, uh, electronic wastes, metallic wastes, radioactive wastes in open areas and these wastes make the soil toxic. So let us quickly look at the causes of soil pollution. First of all, excessive use of chemicals. Now, in order to increase the crop productivity, in order to increase, uh, in order to increase the yield of crops, what do we do? We make use of a lot of chemicals, insecticides, pesticides, fertilizers, etc., so that more uh, productivity happens. But at the same time, we forget that by spraying so much of chemicals, by applying so much of chemicals to the plant, we are actually introducing a lot of chemicals to the soil. So that is actually making the soil more toxic. So even though we are thinking that we are getting more crops by applying these, but actually we are deteriorating the quality of the soil. So in future that soil will not be able to uh, support a very good growth of the plants. Improper waste disposal. Disposing wastes, for example, plastics which are non-biodegradable. So plastics like they will not get decomposed on its own or by anything. So Dumping all plastic uh, materials, maybe plastic bottles, plastic papers, polythene bags onto the soil, that also causes soil pollution because a lot of organisms live in the soil. Now, sometimes those organisms might eat up a tiny bit of plastic and then the plastic chokes inside and the organism dies. So that means plastics are something which should be like an absolute no-no if we want to prevent soil pollution. Industrial wastes. Wastes coming out of the industries, it is not only the smoke from the industries, there are plenty of other wastes which come out of the industries which are just thrown or disposed of in open areas. So when you are disposing of harmful wastes in open areas, what are you doing? Those wastes are actually coming in contact with the soil and gradually the soil is getting polluted because of decomposition of those wastes. So that means it is very important that waste should be properly disposed of at the right place in the right way. Some of the harmful effects of soil pollution are adversely affect plant growth. Obviously, when the soil is poisonous, so the plants which are growing on that soil, obviously they will not have a very good growth because the soil, because the plants are getting their water, minerals, nutrients, everything from the soil. So if the soil contains poison, that means everything that the plant is taking from that soil will also contain poison affect organisms in the soil not only the plants a lot of organisms are living in the soil so the soil contains poison means these organisms will also consume that poison and it can cause their death also so it will become very difficult for organisms to survive in the soil and the entire soil ecosystem will be spoiled health risks in human beings now when the soil is polluted there are chances that the plants which are growing on that particular soil the fruits and the vegetables that are obtained from those plants they will also contain those toxic substances now when those substances are eaten by human beings they can also cause various diseases they can cause diarrhea they can cause stomach ache they can even cause major diseases so a polluted soil can give rise to several contaminated plant products in the form of fruits or vegetables. So you see with the polluted soil, it can actually spoil the health, spoil the survival of all living organisms. Because as I have mentioned before also that all living organisms, all animals, insects, birds, everybody is directly or indirectly dependent on plants. 
and plants are dependent on soil because they obtain their nutrition from soil. So if soil is polluted, so obviously that will impact plants. So soil is polluted, so this will impact the plants. And if the plants are polluted, I mean plants contain toxic materials, so that is going to impact all other animals, including human beings. So soil pollution is something which is again very, very undesirable. So we should really take some steps so that we can uh, control soil pollution because as I said the main cause behind soil pollution are human activities. So it is very much under our control if we want we can prevent soil pollution. So the first thing that we need to do is proper segregation of wastes. So domestic waste should be properly segregated and they should be disposed of at the right place. Industrial waste should also be disposed of at the right place. Excess use of insecticides and pesticides should be avoided. Yes, that is very much important. So if we take all these steps, I'm very sure that we will be able to control soil pollution. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.